been joined by my panelists at this point, but allow me to go to Kosh Raj Koirala at this point, who's an editor for Republica and uh, based out of Nepal. Thank you very much, Mr. Kosh Raj, Kosh Raj Koirala. My first question, sir, has there been any official reason cited for this crash? Koi official reason hame uh, bataya gaya hai abhi tak? Uh, well, thank you for having me. And so far, the government officials or the civil aviation officials, they have not cited any particular reason. But the government has formed one investigation commission, which has been given 45 days to submit its report. So there's no like specific reason that has been given so far uh, behind this accident. Uh, Mr. Yes. Koshraj Koirala, there, there are some reports from Nepal um, uh, in some news reports as well as there's uh, the TIA official who has also confirmed this to Economic Times and it said that there, mm -hmm. there, there seemed to have appeared an excursion during the takeoff. Has this been mentioned? Ha ha how is this being looked at in Nepal? Well, there, there seems like most of the people, they believe that there was a mechanical failure because the accident took place barely 20, 22 seconds after its takeoff. Uh, and there was no further communication between air traffic controller and the pilot. And pilot did not have chance to report any uh, problems with the aircraft. Uh, but then again, since this accident took place within 22 seconds of the takeoff, and there's a belief that, uh, you know, this must have been, there must have been some mechanical failure. And also the pilot had, you know, several thousands of flying experience and he would not have, uh, you know, made a mistake that would eventually lead such a disaster. Um, so, yes, um, some people have attributed that to, to the mechanical issues, not the human errors. Koshraj Koirala, um, and it's important that you mentioned that this was not a new captain. Uh, he had several hours of experience. Um, I just, we just also wanted to understand th there are reports that this flight, this particular aircraft, was going into a maintenance for a month in few days from now. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. And there's a terminology called CTEC for aircraft. And this aircraft also as a part of this regular maintenance, uh, it was supposed to undergo CTEC of the anti-aircraft. And since there was one separate hangars, which was available, so the aircraft had actually taken permission from Civil Aviation Authority to fly it to Pokhara and undergo CTEC there. Uh, but it doesn't mean that the aircraft already had certain, you know, mechanical issues. It didn't because there was nothing such reported. But when the accident took place and, you know, right. the officials and all this there. Yeah. All right. Please. Thank you very much, Mr. Kosh Raj Koirala. Thank you very much for joining us. Just one last thing, Mr. Kosh. How is the pilot doing right now? Do we have any updates on his health? I hope um, I I'm being told he's out of danger. Is that correct? No, lately we just had, uh, you know, talked to doctors involved in the treatment and they have said that uh, his uh, health condition is critical. And they also said that he will have to undergo mm. spinal cord okay. surgery and also some surgery in his head, like there is some uh, deep injury in his, in his forehead as well. So his, his condition remains critical now. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us.